Oh, welcome to the Grandini channel. Uh, this is a solo mission. I'm Kane and I've got my sidekick Toby with me. We are heading into the Rohinis and we're dropping down into a hut shortly to stay the night and then tomorrow we're going to look at getting up onto the main range and make our way out over the main range. We're looking for stags predominantly. We're only interested in a hind or something else if we see it close to the car park. The weather forecast is a bit windy for today and then tomorrow should be a real cracker. So yeah, thanks for coming along on this solo hunt. Keep me company and um, yeah, we'll uh, have a bit of fun and see if we can find some animals. Come on, come on. <laughs> he just loves it, eh? So good for them in the bush. So we left the main track now, We're just on an old um, trapper's track that uh, take me down into the valley and then down there into the hut. There you go, we're down in the main river, the Pohongara. It's a bit gnarly coming down, a couple of waterfalls and a couple of um, holes to walk through but yeah, we're down so that's good. Cool, you don't see these very often. Parafanta snail shell. Cool. Cool man. Home sweet home. What do you think Toby? Oh nice, that was a good wee walk. Feeling it though, looking forward to chilling out for a bit. Just gonna make my potato bread. I've got time. I'll do this and then I'll Go for a hunt. Potato flakes. Very good. Went for a hunt downstream and then shot up a little side spur but uh, nothing and looks like it's caking in a bit up there too so that's not good. Time for a whiskey so this is a Japanese whiskey Santori uh, whiskey from Toki. <laughs> nice to have a bit of peace and quiet in the hut. Cheers. And over here we've got a bit of bread which has been proving while I went off for a hunt. So we'll get the fire going and then we'll put that on and that can be for our supper. With this bread, I just get out a little bit of coals for the bottom. You don't need much for the bottom. Let's drag them out there. Place them on there. You'll be amazed how hot that is. Fire going out. I like to put heaps of coals on top, and that just makes sure you get a nice browned top. Pretty 
bread's in the oven. Is my Turkish lamb. I'll just say a cup of that. It's hard to know how much a cup is, but not that much. I hate dry. I hate dry, freeze dried. So we put in plenty. And I'm so looking forward to having my Grandini bread with my Turkish lamb and my Japanese whiskey. There's my Turkish lamb. And I've got my Grandini bread. I'll cut a slice off. It's very hot. Jeez, it's hot. Anyway, chuck that in there. <laughs> this is a bit hard to handle. But anyway, it's a bit of Grandini bread with Turkish lamb and Tokyo Whiskey. Put that back on there just to cook it through. So that's my dinner, boys. Mm. Bloody good. Oh, I'll see you boys in the morning, eh? Now, Moko range tops, two hours. Okay, dog. Well, we're now up on the main range, um, and not a sausage. Now, I really thought I'd see something coming up that um, face this morning, but nothing. So, anyway, we're going to make our way along here, um, and I'll carry on scanning. And um, I think anything's going to get it now. It's all downhill from here, so if I see something, uh, if I see a meat animal, then yep, I'll give it a go. We've just got one animal right across the other side here, way too far for me. Recovery, I'd never get that back in time to get out today. I'm not too sure if it's a hind or a stag. It's just too far away, but... At least there is the odd animal here. No, young stag, spiker or something. So we've got another hind just down there, but again, yeah, out of range for me and recovery would be a mission. So yeah, we're getting along the top range here and I've got to duck down the spur soon. So um, hopefully we'll pick up something very shortly. It's quite a fluffy caterpillar, isn't he? Hey. I wonder what you're going to grow up into. Oh, check this out. It is absolutely beautiful. We're on the tops in the Ruahinis, and there's hardly a breath of wind. Man, you can't beat that. Look at this tussock. It's hardly moving at all. So we're heading along the tops here, just glassing as we go. Spotted a couple of animals, but yeah, out of range. We've got a little bit to go, and then we're going to start dropping off, and hopefully... Hopefully we'll pick up a meat animal. I just never know. Got me trusty dog. Tells me where they are sometimes. Toby. Toby. Toby's quite keen. Yeah, Toby's got wind or something. I think we'll just have a quick look over here. We're just making our way down and he's just started getting keen. Toby, Toby, come here. Heel. Toby, heel. Heel. Toby. 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 Oh yeah, there's a, it's 
actually a deer there. I'm not sure what it is behind her. A stag. I'm just going to set up and uh, sneak over there. Hopefully we can get it on film for you. Let's see if we can um, make this connect. Nice. I sacked them. <laughs> oh, there you go. There's some meat. I didn't even range them, I just guessed 200 yards. And uh, I sacked them. So it's cool. <laughs> Good boy. There you go. The young fella, isn't he? That's the young fella. He's bloody good eating. Nearly out. So, so a bit of a story about this little pocket knife. I got given it um, for my 21st um, many moons ago, and um, yeah, about 10 years ago, I lost it while I was hunting. But um, I was back in that same area just the other day and I found it again so I'm wrapped. It was bloody awesome. So get to put this back to back to work. Oh sweet, there you have it. Got a bit of meat uh, for the freezer. Not too much, not too much of a slog out now so um yeah thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one guys